Hello, hello everyone. I'm glad to see so many faces in here. It has been a while since I've streamed and I've kind of just been, been getting settled back into my new life um, since all my changes. I actually wanted to show you all my new office and everything, um, which I actually, I do have some pictures I can show you, but I actually just had um, surgery on Friday. So um, my face is pretty swollen right now and um, I wanted to spare you of that. So I will be on camera next week, but I don't know if many of you have seen my new office since all of my changes. Um, but before we get started in the game, I'll just show you some of them real quick. Um, so I got, um, this was, is my new backdrop, which you'll see um, behind me when I'm streaming in the future. Actually, Sabayla uh, helped me uh, come up with this in Photoshop, this little layout. It's actually pretty funny how identical we got it. Um, but yeah, I have like my whole new office layout and I have a nice pretty window in front of me. So um, this is where I've been working the past few months. Oh, and Sabayla's here. She knows. We. She helped me, even though I realize this is a blurry picture now. She helped me design this. <laughs> we did it in Photoshop. It was pretty funny how spot on we got it. Um, but yeah, so I am planning on being back uh, into streaming regularly now. Um, and so today I works in progress to show you guys. Um, also including making some sim portraits, uh, which I know many of you have wanted for quite a while. So I'll go ahead and get the game started up. Let's see. Whoops. See, I'm a little rusty with the <laughs> the controls here. I know there is it is double for you right now, so give me a sec. There we go. Oh my. See, I'm a little rusty, guys. Forgive me. <laughs> here we go. Hopefully everyone can hear me okay. I'm pretty sure I finally have audio working out correctly. And yay, we have... 40 people here. I actually tried doing a stream on Wednesday, and um, I don't think it was a great time for uh, many people. So um, I started a little lot, which I know you guys are always so much uh, better at designing stuff than I am, so forgive my uh, lack of design skills here. But one thing, so I, I had made previously the slottable... Um, you can see all my t testing for all of these photos down here, but I had previously made, um, the market stall cutouts, which were using the wedding stories, uh, market stalls. But this time I really wanted to make, uh, something that you could slot and put anywhere. And so it's actually pretty challenging figuring this out, but, um, and also figuring out the placement so when you slot it onto something it doesn't like hang off the edge so I tested it with counters and a bunch of different other surfaces and um, I don't know if many of you had a chance to play with this yet but the cool thing is that you can actually put it on any surface so while it does work with counters it also works with just about any surface so um, you can put it on like a table you know maybe a table might not make so much sense because this is supposed to uh, for realism like cut into the table um, but you could even put it on a coffee table so it can even be pretty low and a desk I actually love the top of I think this is the principal's desk oh my gosh sorry guys <laughs> this lot <laughs> I, I forgot how much testing I did I'll, I'll show you all the sim portraits I'm making later see all of these um, but I actually really love like the top of this it's kind of like a gold or sparkly white type thing um and i what i did was so this set comes with two toppers it's got a left-handed and a right-handed version oh my goodness this is so messy back here let's go back to this view um so i made left-handed and right-handed versions just so whichever one works the best for your setup so yeah, you can see here, here's the right-handed one, here's the left-handed one. Obviously this one's on a counter, but um, this one's on a desk, which is quite a bit lower. So I put this here for aesthetic purposes, but we'll just 
we'll just go ahead and move that. Um, with this set, I also took a bunch of the stuff from the market stalls. And like I, I broke up the chalkboard and I separated that and this little uh, sign. And then I also broke up this into three different images and put them on these little uh, ground chalkboard. So, um, and this one, there's actually three different ones. I think I chose two of the same here. So these are just kind of like extra clutter. I actually, I wanted to do a lot more um, with like toppings and stuff like that, but uh, I, I don't know, I got caught up with, I spent a long time on this and I wasn't sure if you guys do want like toppings and stuff to decorate with this, let me know. I actually, I could probably show you here in the end. I did include, um, did make some toppings a long time ago, um, that are like peppermint sticks and cherries and stuff like that. So, um, I can, I can add those in sometime as well. But, uh, what I ended up doing, uh, I found this cool way to do vendor stalls on the last market stalls I did, the wedding, Puerto uh, Lumeso, Lu <laughs> Lumeso. Um, and I, I, it's cool because a lot of times you need to override markets, but with this new way you actually don't need to. Uh, Kat Vander Merkin uh, asked where the wallpaper is from. It's actually from uh, the new set or the new pack high school I'm pretty sure let's see yeah it's from the new high school one. yeah it, it is like really perfect for it I've I really liked it um and then so yeah it's just got some uh like little popsicle art on there and so I did make it so you do have to hire uh vendors like I know some people want them hired automatically on a home lot. So I ended up keeping the hire on there. Um, I can make it if a bunch of you would rather it just be automatic. I can do that. Um, but I thought in some cases you might want to control <laughs> when, when a vendor comes. Um, but I did make these custom vendor stall uniforms. So you can see they have like the white little hat uh, and a little ice cream sign on there. So this is this outfit is base game compatible and the ice cream stall itself is base game compatible and you'll see when they walk up he'll switch into the outfit here in a sec yeah when you click on it um you can haggle just like normal stalls or order now what i did was to make sure players who just have base game so that they still had food included i added this quick snack thing auto everyone wants auto okay um yeah, I, I'll, I'll make sure to add it or change it to auto then. I wasn't sure. I Sometimes I debate back and forth these things, but it's really easy to make it auto high, uh, employed, so I can do that. But most of these here are base game compatible. I'm pretty sure the only thing that isn't is the pretzel and tofu dog and veggie burger. So if you do just have base game, uh, you'll have these. And then in addition, I'll just show you what this looks like if she gets a pretzel. And so you can see it's not dependent on <clears throat> the counter height. So someone asked um, if you could put the left and right on the same surface. Yep, you definitely can. So it's really, as long as the vendor has enough room, you should be able to put both of them on the same surface. So, yep, she'll just grab it and eat it. And then for sweets, uh, the cupcakes here are base game compatible. I also threw in the crepes I, they call them crepes but they look like ice cream cones so I don't know I'm calling them crepes because that's what <laughs> that's what EA called them but um, these are from snowy escape so you can get these ones uh, if you have snowy escape and then I'm pretty sure these parfait and the chocolate chip and all of the cupcakes are base game compatible and then obviously these are the cones from uh, the new set so was have her order ice cream. Okay, so I see it is auto <clears throat> on public lots. That is correct. And um, and yeah, this she is on residential. That's why it's higher. So it actually is automatic on residential lots. Um, but on uh, home lots, and if I think I saw people people say, what I can do is make it free, <clears throat> at least to hire vendors on the home lots. So. Um, Mod Sims 4, 
you may have had, or you tried putting the left and right close, but they may have been too close. Yeah, they just need to be able to route to it. And then also, you can't really see here, but there's actually slots here when they order food. You'll see, we'll oh, have her order another ice cream, um, that they actually place the food into. So um, maybe those were, if they weren't delivering anything, it's probably because the slots were blocked because you'll see he'll set it down right here. And there's three slots here, so if they can't access any of them, they won't be able to deliver it. But yeah, it's actually pretty uh, simple mod um, for this. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Oh, I guess she has a brain freeze right now. Um, and yeah, so it's pretty simple. I was really excited I was able to make it slottable though, so that I was really excited about that, so. Um, Sins Lady, what if there is more than one type of vendor or more than one of yours? Will they both be hired? So this only this vendor will be hired for this. Um, if there are multiple market stalls on the same lot, whatever market stall you have, it'll hire uh, that vendor. And I believe it caps at five. You can't have more than five vendors on the lot at the same time. And these vendors count towards that limit. So, um, yeah, this is actually pretty simple. I think that pretty much covers this, which I know is pretty quick, but I have lots of cool work in progress. I would love to show you guys. So unless you have more questions on this, um, I guess. Oh, hi, Diamond Jerry. Thank you. Um, okay, so I have, a, I have a few things to show you. I don't know if you, what do you guys want to see first? We have... Um, Simply Shelly, does it work with Little Miss Sam Bender's mod? I don't know what her mod does. Um, I would have to look at it, but this does not override anything, and it works just like a regular vendor. So I don't see why not, but I will make a note for myself to look into that. Let me write that down real quick. Okay, lot type uh, only matters um, if you want the vendor uh, auto hired. Um, so if it's on a community lot, it will be auto hired. If you are on a residential lot, you will have to pay to hire them. But as uh, quite a few people said, they want that to be changed. So um, we can change that uh, to be free. So I'll, I'll update that. So the next thing I'll go into, so this is a VFX set I've been working, I started on this like last year, um, which I feel like is a lot of what I say. But so basically um, this, I originally was inspired for this by uh, the wedding uh, pack, but now that, um, let's make it not snowy outside. Um, but I originally made this set for the wedding because I thought it'd be cool for like wedding floors, but I ended up never finishing it because uh, I had a lot of changes in my life. So um, I decided now it would be, um, let's see, sunny, it's just regular sunny, cool, sunny, hot. Um, but I thought it'd be perfect for proms and stuff. Um, Julie, does it show CC ice cream? It does not at the moment. I am working on incorporating ice cream buns recipes. Um, the vendor stalls specifically, they need to, um, it needs to have a certain animation where the vendor is actually like grabbing the ice cream and serving it. So it doesn't just, you have to have specific recipes for it to work. Um, okay, so this is the VFX set, which I'm pretty close to being done with. Um, but essentially you have these little different, I think right now I have just three types. So we have the fireworks, um, this is, there's a large dance floor set and then a small dance floor set. And you have this controller box and essentially what you can do, I thought this would be great for like photos too, especially cause there's fireworks, but the fireworks go so quick. So if you wanted to take pictures with fireworks, um, they uh, they go so quick. So 
look at all these fireworks they're so cool and so and same with this down here you can do vfx you can do like confetti if you wanted to right and then if once you do this all you want to hide all you can see the vfx still play but all of the uh, stuff is hidden so this is basically could let you i think this would be mostly at least for the ground lights um and the confetti this would be like definitely an ambiance for like a dance, whereas like the fireworks might just be good for, I don't know if you want to take pictures or just have something in the background. And there's like tons of fireworks too. So we'll just show these again. Um, oops. Well, fireworks. And I think there was actually a few more that came out with the new pack I'll have to add. But yeah, you can have like both of these going at the same time. And, um... Yeah, uh, my says I had mine on a generic lot and still had a higher vendor. Yeah, so it has to be um, specifically a community lot. So generic lots won't auto hire. But I can add in auto hire for generic lot too. But yeah, so this, this mod is pretty, um, pretty simple, but I really love the fireworks part because those are, were harder. Um, it's hard to, because they don't play very long. But these just cycle, so these will go forever. And same with these. Um, these uh, lights and like the confetti, this actually came from the ice skating rinks. So, but I just thought they would perfect be perfect for something like this. Obviously this, I downloaded this off the gallery just so I had like something to show, but um, yeah. So you just hide them and then they just play like they aren't even there. So, and then I'm pretty sure, oh, okay. So you can still click on them even when they're hidden. So um, you can easily change these. The ground lights too, they have like, this one's like a Christmas, our winter fest themed one like the christmas trees and yeah then there's the snowflake one so lots of options here um this one also is basically i have a lot that's i feel like i'm going to say it's a lot that is pretty much done um i just need to actually finish it so that is that guy um and I also have some more I wanted to add. There's, oh, there's Brookie. She's trying to be on the stream. Hold on. Let her out. What are you barking at? No one's there. Um, so that is this guy. And one of the other things I'm going to add is there's like kind of like this backdrop style one. And oh, she wants out again. Berkeley actually got her first haircut since surgery the other day, which is super exciting. All right, she's leaving. All right, see you later. Bye. Um, she got bored of hanging out with me. Um, okay, yeah. So then, the, yeah, like I said, there's a photo background one I'll be doing as well. All right. One of the next things I have working. So this one is actually pretty much done as well. I think I've showed this a bunch of times. Um, but uh, this, this is like, I showed this I think a year and a half ago is when I first started this one. Um, Berkeley is doing so well after surgery. I'll have to post some videos. It like makes me so happy with how amazing she's doing now. Um, she runs around like she never even had any injury at all, which stresses me out sometimes. But um, so I, I literally showed this one, I think January of, gosh, I think 2021. It's been, yeah, the wall, sli wall slider slot thing. Um, but I've, I had a few uh, things that I had to fix on it, which is now fixed. Um, so I made this red to pay uh, homage to the original One More Slot, please. But yeah, check it out. It basically gives you unlimited vertical wall placement. And then you can just um, move this away and it stays here. So it doesn't stay attached. This is kind of just for like reference for placement. And then, yeah, you just throw decorations on it. And then as soon as you put decorations on it, um, it will turn invisible as soon as you go into live mode, I think. 
Um, but I made it so none of this stuff gets uh, deleted, uh, deleted like when you do the wallpaper change and stuff like that. So there's like tons of slots on here. You can see I even put a TV slot on here so you could throw a TV on it. Um, but yeah, basically you just go into live mode and go here, turn this bad boy off. And then yeah, there you go. It's, it's right there slotted. Um, and then if you want to grab it, it'll uh, light back up if you want to grab it to move it. Um, you can also put it on a wall too if you want. But yeah. This guy, uh, I'm getting ready to release this one too. <laughs> um, so, so many. But yeah, this is just replacement, so you don't need to keep it. The markings line up, so obviously this kind of line right here, this is uh, one tile high, two tiles high, three tiles high, and then obviously these are quarter tile placements here. So this is just kind of like if you want it, counters are like one um, one tile high so you could like come here or at least this was the idea and like place it right there um, just because it is you don't have like the uh, like it's not like how you place it with alt zero and nine so um, wow this can help with mirrors right um, Katie I'm guessing you're talking about placing mirrors on a wall because some of them don't have vertical placement is that what you mean <laughs> Um, cause unfortunately those are locked. Um, I don't think they can go onto that. So that I should be releasing pretty soon as well. <laughs> uh, okay, next one. This one I actually really want your feedback on. So, uh, one, I am updating the, uh, photographic memory because it's not recognizing graduation photos as, um, as actual photos, so it won't let you clone them. So I did update. Um, oh, Rebecca, thanks. I'm glad you caught one too, here too. Um, I did update. I'm going to release an update for photographic memory, so it'll now recognize graduation photos, so you can actually clone them. And then one thing I've been working on now, I'm using this as I just grabbed a random object to test. Um, uh, Michelle, you will... Uh, Michelle, you can see these with uh, walls down. So even if it's against a wall, just say no. Um, but so I've been playing around. I know everyone would want graduation photos. So I've been working on, it says autographed by at the moment. But um, basically, oh, sh is this not the right one? Oh, she has to, I changed it. Let's go to a family that has dogs and stuff. So you can see, because it does it for uh, pets too, so you can make little pet photos and everything. All right, let's go. I think this is the other place family I was testing with. Yeah, so the mirrors, it's unfortunately it's a setting that makes it, prevents it from going up and down. Um, so I, obviously I was working on this for uh, Filthy Fabulous and some of the, this is a, <laughs> this is a, some of my testing house, so ignore that. Um, but let's go, you can see I have lots of photos of the family here. Uh, I need like a blank wall for these photos. Let's go here, delete all this, boom. Oh, I probably shouldn't have deleted that light. Okay, I just, just I just destroy houses in the game. Um, <laughs> I truly just destroy them. So, all right, this I'm just made this as a test object, so it won't it'll be part of the photographic memory mod. But I I just make stuff to test sometimes. So, all you do basically, uh, you will have it won't be here. It won't be called create autograph picture. But basically you go and you can choose whatever sim you want and whatever outfit they're currently in, um, at least for like the non-graduation photos, that is the outfit they'll be wearing in the photo. So we can do like the dog. Um, obviously the dog won't uh, create um, a graduation photo. It actually kind of, these need to be a little bit bigger. Um, but I'll go here, we'll do another cat. We'll do one of her. 
and him. And I need to make it so you can make one of yourself. But um, it takes a minute for them to um, obviously show up, kind of just like photographic memory mod. They don't automatically. But I guess my question for these is, uh, I, I have been working on um, updating, so I'm taking over um, one of the popular photo frame mods, but it's actually, it's not um, working the way it intended. So I'm gonna have to probably do something completely different, but I don't know, what do you guys want? Do you guys want frames around these? Do you just wanna be able to make prints and then you can copy them to like canvases and stuff like that? I think they turned out pretty cute. Um, but I guess like it's basically done. Um, I need to fix the shadow LOD. It won't be all shadowed on the top like that. But um, I just don't know like what, yeah, the PB and J frames. Thank you, Sims Lady. So I've been working on overwriting those. They aren't done yet. So. I guess for right now I can just make this like little print. You can hang it on the like fridge or whatever. Um, you can also transfer it with photographic memory mod. So you can do oh, the pet autographs with a little popper. I can't, I actually removed the autograph overlay, um, but I probably could do a little paw print. That's a good idea. I like that idea. Um, but and then also this will be able to create um, graduation photos. Where are these? Go oh, I forgot. Yeah, these suck. They can only go on the ground. And th uh, these ones I'm pretty sure are from high school. Um, but they're look how like skewed they are. They're like totally squished. The new um, university ones are much better. Yeah. And these ones actually go on the wall. But yeah, look at these ones from high school. Um, oh, that is high school portrait. Oh, okay, so these are the high school ones. These are the university ones. So the university ones are way less cute. I don't know if you guys ever noticed that, but you can actually change, like, it took me a while to get this, like, uh, scaling to be correct for these photos for, like, all children, all toddlers, all adults, everything. So, um, but I did finally get it. Right, so um, I'll have to fix these, but I do with the new photographic memory mod too. You could also easily generate graduation photos. Although I'm not sure. I know you can change their, uh, I think it just shows, it takes the photo in their current outfit. So maybe I'll have to, I think one thing I wanted to um, do was you to be able to select what outfit they're wearing like maybe before it creates the photo let you go into like the outfit picker change their outfit really quick make the photo and then switch them back I don't know something like that you guys let me know what you think about all of that um so I have that coming out I think I showed you all those I think one of the last things I actually did the other night was let me go back here so I don't know if you guys have been using the photo op stand I'm kind of a bum bummer about it. Uh, yes, they do work with the clothespin hangers, uh, Georgia Mommy Peach. These new photo op things. Okay, I don't know if you guys noticed. When you take a selfie with another sim, it doesn't center it on the back of the backdrop. Is that just me? Or is everyone's like that? Um, so if you do, like, take selfie with him... Um, yeah, the, all the prints, I'll make it so they can go to, like, cork boards, stuff like that. Okay, so he goes here, and he seems to be facing, like, the back. Let's get her over here. But when they actually go to take the picture, it's, they don't even use the backdrop. It drives me absolutely nuts. Let's see, it takes a minute. We'll go here. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, look! The backdrop is to the left. And you can't go over that way. And I tried editing the camera mode. So you could. Like, I tried editing this um, a few different ways. I actually probably will release an edited one um, where it takes higher quality photos. Um, so you can take, like, large photos and not just these small ones. But... Um, cause this was driving me crazy cause the single selfies work just fine. So if she were to take a selfie by herself, 
look, she's got the pretty backdrop. It's great. So what I ended up doing was I actually made three invisible objects. So I, um, someone had requested these, <laughs> you can see punny set name. That's a placeholder. Um, this is the solo cheerleading mat. This is the group cheerleading mat. So these are just invisible objects. You can grab them at any time. So basically you can put those cheerleading mats wherever you don't have to use those. Um, and then this is the high school photo op. So the way, um, I, it's kind of weird. So I, I know these arrows are like kind of facing different directions, but, uh, here, let me do white so you can see that a little better. So this is the direct, like, this is the direction they'll face. So any, this is what the background should be. So we'll go here, take selfie with, oh, Greg's here. Okay, so look, yeah, so you can see that is the background. So basically this uh, little just X on the ground is just to make it easier so you can uh, properly take photos, um, uh, selfies with the right background. So just place whatever you want behind it and you could use that to take the photos. Um, and then yeah, the invisible cheerleading mats we have. Um, yeah, I think I showed a lot. I'm pretty sure that's most of the work in progress I have. Um, so hopefully I'll try and get these maybe released today, the invisible ones. Um, and yeah, the portrait ones I'll try and finish. I really just, if you guys are okay with these little prints, uh, I mean, you can use the photographic memory mod to transfer them to whatever uh, other format you want. So... Maybe I'll just release these as it is. So similar to, I saw someone here mention the family uh, photo frames. So I can change the background of these. Um, it It is similar to the uh, family portrait. It's like you have to, you have to do it in a really funky way. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I would have to do it one by one, kind of like I did a limited number uh, with, uh, limited number with, I like, sorry, <laughs> getting all jumbled. a uh, limited number of backgrounds, kind of like I did for the family, uh, portrait. So if you guys do want some, um, let me know. I think it'd be kind of fun to do like one of like the old retro eighties backgrounds. If, if you all know what I'm talking about. Um, uh, each Prune says, I would love an invisible skating. I know, my sisters have asked me to do that a lot. Maybe maybe I'll put out an invisible skating rink with this guy just to do, like, a full invisible set. So, um, yeah. But, yeah, I'll definitely play around more with this photo, uh, taking this picture and see if I can, like, get, get it to rotate, um, stuff like that. So, yeah, glamour shots, simply shot. Yeah, glamour shots, the glamour shot background. <laughs> <laughs> from like the 80s I thought it'd be hilarious to do that so um but yeah I think this is all I have for now so the uh ice cream slot uh slotable market stand that will be public on the 7th um and yeah um the rest of this stuff hopefully I mean most of it's basically done honestly the part I struggle the most with especially like with the one more slot please is I need to write like instructions on how to use it and like make a video on how to use it so that's honestly my biggest hang up for that right now it's basically done same with the vfx machine i need to like figure out a good way to like show all the different images um and stuff like that so but i do i have been working on a lot as you can see so i'll hopefully have all of this out soon um yeah and it was i know this was kind of a quick stream the the market stalls weren't very uh in depth but I plan to be back every Sunday again, back to my old regular schedule. I missed hanging out with you guys so much. Um, yeah, and maybe uh, we can start doing... I was thinking if you guys like on Wednesdays, maybe I could do, um, like, Wednesday afternoons, I can do, um, like, tutorials and stuff like that if you any of you are interested in that. Um, I know, like, one thing, it's actually really easy to swap, like, counters. Like, um, even if without going into Blender, it's really cool um really quick and easy that you can just like swap uh like counter 
base color combos, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I thought that would be a fun tutorial to show you how to do stuff like that. But, yeah, I will be back next Sunday. Thank you all for spending part of your Sunday afternoon with me, and I hope you have a great week. Bye, guys.